Now, if you need to haul a 6,000 pound trailer, if you gotta drag your stink pot up some slippery boat ramp, if you're a hunting, shooting, fishing kind of dude that needs to drag dead fauna across a field, or maybe you really do have a horse farm in the country, then by all means, buy a sport utility vehicle. But for the 95% of you posers who never do anything more rugged than take your kids to school in the rain, here are my top 10 reasons for not buying a sport utility vehicle. And just like David Letterman, I got these on blue cards. Number 10, with today's gas prices, do you need nine more reasons not to buy something that's lucky to get 15 miles to the gallon? Number nine, sport, 4,500 pounds of road hugging weight, live axle suspension and body on frame construction that dates back to the Conestoga wagons and a center of gravity at eyebrow level. <laughs> Certainly not sport in any automotive sense of that word. Number eight, utility. My Jetta's got more trunk space than these things, more rear seat leg room too. Number seven, can you say ride quality, boys and girls? I thought you could. I mean, I remember when your car rides like a truck was an insult. Number six, alloy wheels, all season tires, and leather upholstery, and a vehicle supposed to go off road? Hello? Number five, brakes. Well, you can outbreak a super tanker. Number four, you know those signs at airport luggage carousels that read, all luggage looks the same? And you're buying one of these things to express your individuality? Number three, your friends will all think you're a dork. And if they don't think you're a dork, then they're dorks, and why would you want to hang out with them? Number two, read the label on the sun visor. Now, the government makes SUV manufacturers put a picture of a truck tipping over at 45 degrees with the warning, and I quote, warning, higher rollover risk, avoid abrupt maneuvers and excessive speed, always buckle up, see owner's manual for further information. Good Lord, how much more information do you need? And for people who think that sitting up higher gives them a better view down the road, well, I always stand up in my canoe to get a better view down the river. And the number one top 10 reason for not buying a sport utility vehicle, remember last winter, the first vehicle into the guardrail during that first snowstorm? Guaranteed a sport utility vehicle. Because the straight ahead traction that four wheel drive gives, gives the drivers way too much confidence. When it comes time to turn or stop, boom, it's all over. So do us all a favor. Next time you're in a new car buying mood, buy a new car. I'm Jim Kenzie. So here's the question. Where were you 32 years ago? I know some of you weren't even a glint in your father's eye. As for me, well, I was in diapers, but found time to get motoring TV off the ground. And today I like to think we've got one of the best automotive video libraries in the world. If you agree, please give us the thumbs up and also subscribe. We really appreciate it.